All right, let's dive into what's popping in pop culture. The biggest thing I think that's happening, especially in entertainment uh, lately, um, Grammys notwithstanding, you know, is what's happening with the DCU. James Gunn um, finally came out and uh, made an announcement and kind of broke down basically chapter one of the DCU, also known as Gods and Monsters. Now, Channing, um, uh, you know the difference between the DCU and Marvel, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, you Daddy. Better. You better. <laughs> Daddy will literally like oh my pass gosh. out. <laughs> I think. What is okay? So um, this is gonna hurt me. I can. What are it. the What are the Avengers in? The Avengers are in Marvel movies. Yes, and then what is like Batman and Superman? DC. DC. DCU. DCU, yeah, there you go. Okay, <laughs> now I know the difference. Okay, go. that's good. relieving. Like, oh. Oof, got that right. Um, there have been times where I have thoroughly embarrassed Daddy by saying, oh "Why God. isn't Batman in this movie?" And he's like, "Oh my God." Well, we're gonna dive into just a little bit about what's happening with the DCU, and um, what we're excited about. I'm so excited! And if there's the anything DCU. you have questions about, Chan, you can just ask us. Okay. All right. So here's the thing, I, I really like the Marvel. Universe. I really like the movies. Mm-hmm. They've, I think they've done a fantastic job exploring that universe, expanding the world, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That being said, I'm a classic DC guy. I've always loved the trinity of Batman, Superman, or Wonder mm-hmm. Woman, Green Lantern, Hawkman, you know, all that stuff. I love... That the was the comic Green book Arrow, of your youth, Green right? Arrow, comic books of my youth. The Flash, yeah. you know, stuff like that. I, I love those characters and always have. That's why it's always been kind of a disappointment to see those movies being translated as they yeah. were. Yeah. Um, th- th- they had their points. But hearing what James Gunn said about the expansion of the DCU coming forward, I'm actually pretty excited and cautiously optimistic. I, you know, it's interesting to me because I feel like when I first sort of thought about superhero and the superhero culture at all, yep. it was always Batman, Superman. Of course. Like they were the superheroes. I had never heard of Iron Man. You know, mm-hmm. I had never heard of Thor. Captain oh. America. Captain America. Yeah, I mean, as a kid growing up, like, it was Superman and Batman. They were the OGs. Yep. Like, Michael Keaton's Batman was Batman, you know, for me. And Linda Carter was Christopher Wonder Woman. Christopher Reeves. And, yeah, and Linda Carter. So, like, to see, um, yes, you're right, to see the sort of movie universe kind of be in such disarray for so long I mean, just sort of all over the place yeah. while Marvel very has scattered. such a cohesive plan has been sort of disappointing, I think. And I, and I think that's what a lot of fans are feeling, but this plan um, that they've rolled out um, seems like a pretty good one. There's some stuff on there where I'm like, what is this? This seems like a random. Well, he's got the existing titles that are going to be coming out. The mm-hmm. new Shazam movie is coming out very soon, which mm-hmm. I'm very excited about the flash, the flash. I'm also really excited about it here. That's going to be a game changer. Mm-hmm. And apparently the new flash movie is going to reset the universe somehow. Okay. So, I mean that, and after that comes blue beetle, which I'm also excited about. It's kind of a minor character in the DC universe and then uh, the new Aquaman movie Aquaman and the Last Kingdom which I've heard is the last Jason Momoa Aquaman movie um, <clears throat> which will be interesting because I feel like he is the quintessential Aquaman oh he's great he's great I don't know who else they will get I'm sure they'll find somebody but if he they at all is, if they do it all if they revisit Aquaman but he is so Aquaman yeah like, he's also good for another character that's in the DCU yeah that, uh, that, they've, that, that they've talked about named Lobo a Lobo. Yeah. Oh, see, Daddy. He's like an intergalactic bounty hunter, and Jason Momoa is actually pretty perfect for the role. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's rumors, fan rumors, that he's, he might be, be be a part of that, but nothing's confirmed yet. All right, so you said that the Flash movie is supposed to reset the timeline. Sure, they're going to get into time travel and multiverse and, you know, all kinds of stuff. That's why th- that's where you're going to see Michael Keaton as Batman again. <gasps> yeah. All right, that's cool. Right. That's cool. really cool. Yeah, but then after that, he's got all this extension of the DCU. He's got Creature Commandos, which I believe is going to be an animated movie. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got Waller, which is going to be an extension of Peacemaker. Um, he's also got... Um, well, I, I mentioned Waller Blue, looks really good. Yeah, I mentioned Blue Beetle as well coming up, which I'm very excited about. But um, Booster Gold is going to be part of it too, which I think is neat. And what's, what's interesting that James Gunn said is that the people who voice the characters in the animated show are going to play the characters in live action. So it's going to be a continuity 
across mm-hmm. cartoons, across TV, across movies, and everything. So there's going to be a cohesion there. One thing I think that he's done that's really smart is released as part of the slate mm-hmm. um, and part of this world the animated shows that are also going to tie into the universe. Because sometimes it feels so much like the animated yeah. projects are sort of out in their own world essentially but the way that he sort of lined it out is there all the storylines are going to kind of cross over and there's going to be some overlapping there's going to be some connections between them all and the the shows that are out there and the movies that are out there right now that don't align with this are going to be called elseworlds, elseworlds right. which is such a weird name but i kind of no, like it, it fits with the canon it does though. fit yeah, yeah you're right there is an elseworlds dc canon a whole separate set of comics that deal with the Elseworlds. It's like, it's like multiverse type stuff. So that seems like a very, yeah, a very appropriate name. Yeah. But I think it's so clever. I'm excited for Superman Legacy. Yep. They're going to reboot Superman um, without Henry Cavill, mm-hmm. is my understanding. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Well, from what I saw that was trending on Twitter when all these announcements were made and what everybody was talking about, they were super excited. The fans seemed really on board. They a lot. I think a lot of people saw nuggets of shows that they, and characters specifically, that they're like, oh, this was my favorite, or I love this character. I'm excited to see more of their story. It's cautious optimism, I think, from all the yes. fans. Yes. Yeah. And I yeah. think the DC fans are ready for that. They're, they're owed due. it. They're, they're due. due. For yeah. sure. Um, out of any of those, what movie would you want to see? Like a Batman movie, a Superman movie? Shazam. Wait. I would I would say um, I would like to see the new Shazam movie. We're definitely going to do that. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would also, here's something that I want Marvel to do. I want Marvel to make another movie about the Avengers, like, so you know how Endgame, my favorite movie, was the last Avengers mm-hmm. movie where they were all together. Yes. Right. I want them to make like another another one. Another just one like that. Like maybe just one more. All right, well we'll tackle that in our Marvel episode, which is coming up. But we're talking about the DCU right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which, which is different. Yeah, but that's a good that's a good tease for a future episode. Yes. 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 we we will I definitely want to hear your thoughts on that um, and how why you love Endgame. I have a so few much. as well. All right, so we all feel positive about the DCU. We're all jazzed for that, and I feel like um, it's going to be good. You mentioned something to me earlier that I hadn't heard of, which was about Chris Pratt moving to the DCU. Well, there's a couple different rumors that... Originally, the rumor I heard that it was that Chris Pratt was going to take over the Zachary Levi role of Shazam at some point, which I don't think is going to happen. I think that was just like someone, some fanboy was like, hey, this could happen. He's perfect. Because James Gunn has said he's, he's... probably going to bring some some Marvel actors over into the DCU. Yeah. And the automatic thought was Chris Pratt, of course. Yeah. He's, he's got to bring Chris Pratt because Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is going to be over. Yeah. That, that's, that wraps up that arc. You know who I think it's going to be? Who? Bautista. I think it's going to be Dave Bautista. Probably. He is such a James Gunn stan. Like, he loves James Gunn. and like, Oh, he's been supported him. Uh, yeah, when there was some controversy uh, a while back with James Gunn, mm. uh, Dave Bautista was like, Leave him alone. Like, he was very vocal in his support. Well, what I heard with Chris Pratt also is that there's a potential that he might play Booster Gold. Okay. Booster Gold is a minor character in the DCU. He's a loser from the future that time travels back into current day and uses future tech to be a superhero. And that fits in with Chris Pratt's persona a little bit. Wait. Yeah. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if it's just a different book or story. But my friends have a book. Yeah. That's called Loser. And I don't know what it's about, but I think it's kind of about what you just said. The word loser? <laughs> no, it's, yeah. that's a different book. I think that's just a different book. That's a book called Loser. Oh, yeah. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Good contribution. Though. Yeah, I just... <laughs> wait, Loser and Loser? Ooh. That's interesting. But well, yeah, I, I've heard that he might play Booster Gold, which will be interesting. Hmm, okay. Well, we will see. We are waiting with bated breath, DCU. And 